What's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this super easy, super simple item sorter right here. Let's just get straight into it. Quite a few of you guys in the past may know that I've already made an item sorter tutorial on my channel. Now, first of all, that wasn't my design. And second of all, it was a bit pricey. You needed a piston and a piece of obsidian for it. So I thought I would do a, another design of just a simpler one. FYI, this design does not work with non-stackable items. It has to be stackable in 64 or 16. So there are four different ways you can do this. So you can either have it with your stack of 64 of items and then just add in four pieces of paper or your stack of 16 items with four pieces of paper. Or like in this example, you can use your stack of 64 item, but then put a ton of paper in instead of putting a ton of items. You can put a ton of paper in so that you don't have to use much of the item. Now this is probably better to use a ton of paper if you're sorting something like, I don't know, wither skeleton skulls, or diamonds, emeralds, iron, like things like that where it's kind of expensive and you don't want to use a lot of the items. So you'd want to use a ton of paper. Or for something you don't care about, such as wood, you know, just use four pieces of paper in that. Like that's how I'm, uh, I'm gonna tell you that, like that's probably the best way you can possibly do it is um, for expensive stuff, use a ton of paper and a singular piece of item. Or if you have something not expensive, such as wood, just use the wood and then uh, have four pieces of paper, like so. Now I have 12 oak planks, eight white wool, and three ender pearls that I can just shove into the sorter and you'll see it'll sort out. Easy peasy, you'll start going through here. You'll go down here as you can see sorting. And then eventually after this stops sorting, I just stop sorting with 12. Then we got the wool coming in with eight, and then we have the ender pearls coming in with three. Now, as I was told in my last item sorter video, how I should give the materials in columns. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the single column requirements, the minimum requirements you'll need for each column. As you can see right here, th these are three columns combined. So this is one column, this is two columns, this is three columns. So I'm doing this by the columns. So just count out how many you'll need. So let's say you have a 16 wide thing that you're gonna be sorting. That means you'll need materials, you'll need 16 times the materials. So you'll need times this by 16, times this by 16, everything by 16 to get your materials. So for the single column minimum requirements, you'll need six building blocks. You'll need one redstone comparator, one redstone repeater, three redstone dust, one redstone torch, four hoppers, six chests, four paper, and 41 or 10 of the item you're sorting. 41 would be a stack of 64, and then 10 would be the stack of 16. Now keep in mind, this is the minimum requirement. So you can go taller if you want. You can go up to the height limit for all I care. The, you just need to do the minimum requirement of three high of chests. So first thing first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna plan out where you're gonna have your chest. I'm just gonna do four different columns. So I'm doing four different columns, so you can see. Let's say you're doing four different columns like me. You'll need to multiply each material by four to get the exact number you'll need. So just keep that in mind. So I'm also gonna make this four high to show you that you can pretty much go any height. It does not matter. It just has to be at least three high. So you can see, I'm doing this four high. Next, you're gonna go to the back side and you're gonna place all of your hoppers going into the back of each chest. Then you're gonna go on top of the chest, place temporary blocks, and have each of these hoppers going out. So they should be going out, but into nothing. Now, these hoppers are where you need to get the item to. So you can pretty much get the items to this, these hoppers however you like. You can have a water stream going over, or you can have hoppers funneling over them like I have over here. You can do whatever you like. You're just gonna do it a water stream. You can figure out how to do that yourself. I'm gonna show you just how to simply have your hoppers right over like so. Oops, not like that, like so. And you see, hoppers are raying over going across each of these hoppers. On the back side, at the top layer of this chest, so the top chest, you're gonna go behind that, you're gonna place blocks on the hoppers that are equal with the top chest. So you can see top chest, hopper, then your block. Then you're gonna go two more rows out of those blocks, like so. Then you're gonna go down a row, so oops, not like that. You have to go down a row like so. Then you're gonna have to go down a row in. So like this. So it should be three out, one down, then one back in down. This is where you may need to remove some blocks to get the repeaters facing in towards the hoppers. So like here, you might have to remove these blocks just to get those repeater facing in, but then just quickly replace them like so. Now, facing out towards uh, the redstone or these blocks away from the hoppers, you're gonna have your comparators facing out. Then on top of these blocks, you're gonna place all your redstone. 
like so. Then you have the repeaters. You're going to have the repeaters going into blocks with redstone torches on them. Now we're moving on to the items that you'll be sorting. So, I'm going to be using the stone and the cobblestone to demonstrate the different ways you can stack 64 items. And the puck and the eggs to demonstrate the different ways you can sort the, eight, er, the 16 stacks. And then the paper is what I'm going to be using as a filler item. So whatever your filler item is going to be, you're going to shove in the anvil, and then you can type something out, such as, I don't know, subscribe. You can do that. Or what I personally like to do is just spam your keyboard or, like, whatever it is. Just spam it with random letters and numbers, and that will work perfectly fine. Now, whatever item you want to be sorted in each row, you're going to place that item in the hopper. You'll see how it'll start to drain down. As you can see, since this is stone and it's a 64 stackable item, it will stop at 45. So, when we put in our filler item, it'll stop at 41. As you see, that's why I said you need 41 item. So, as you see, you'll stop at 41, and nothing else will be able to sort into this chest. But for the cobblestone, let's say, oh, I don't have enough cobblestone. I don't want to use 41 since I don't have a lot of it. Well, you can simply just put in one. But if you put in one, that means you'll have to use 11 in each row. So, I don't even know how much that is. 11 times 4, that is 44. So, you'll have to use 44 pieces of paper if you want to sort one item. Now, it's the same thing with the 16 stackable items. Oh, my eggs. No, I'm going to plop in there. You'll see that stops at 11. Add in paper, it then stops at 10. And then for the bucket, you simply just add in your bucket, right? Oh, but buckets are expensive. I don't want to use that many buckets. Then just add in a ton of paper. I didn't see it starts going down the more paper you add. I'm actually out of paper, so I can't do any more, but I'm sure you guys understand my point. You can then filter items through, obviously, the system. Once it goes through the system, it'll then funnel down. As you can see, stone starting to collect. Uh, once the stone is finished, I don't even know how, many, how much stone I put. But as you can see, the stone finished. Now cobblestone's filling up. There's a ton of cobblestone. Let me, let me get rid of this. There's too much cobblestone. But now eggs will stop filling up, up. And then after the eggs, the buckets, here we go. Now let me clear up some questions I had with my last item sorter. No, you cannot stack non-stackable items, such as swords and armor and tools, all the stuff that aren't stackable, you can't sort them. No, you cannot have multiple items in a chest. You technically could, but it would be just so much extra work as it is. Um, it just doesn't work like that because it drains the first item in the slot. So if you have items coming in the second slot, that means in the first slot, it will start draining the first slot and it just becomes a problem. And yes, you can have this any height, any length, it does not matter. You can have it as big as you like, just can't be smaller than a three by one. So three high and one wide. Has to be bigger than that, obviously. That's pretty much it. If you did enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe. If you're new with post notice, as always, it's pretty much all I say. See you next one. Goodbye.